Hello everyone, good evening and welcome once again into one of the most amazing YouTube channels that you have ever stepped on. Yes, you are at Oda Class YouTube channel right now with me. My name is Udut Gupta and what are we doing today? As said, I'm delivering on my promise. We're going to do first law of motion, which has a very close relation to something we have done earlier today. That is inertia. Now, let's see exactly what it is. But you know what? More learning awaits you if you join our ODA class app, the best place for any student to learn a lot of things. What are these lot of things that you learn? Why do I say this is the best app? Because we provide something that is having an unparalleled experience. Something that is truly unique, truly amazing. And here I present to you the bridge course. A course that starts on Monday and it's having a lot of things. All these things combined make this one of a kind of course. If you'll see, we have one week duration that is seven days of learning comes to you. In these seven days, the first six days, you will be having six different classes. All we require from you is 45 minutes each day. Each session that we're having, these 45 minute session will make sure that you're learning a lot of new concepts in a brand new amazing way. And guess what? While you would be learning this, if you're facing any sort of problems, any doubts whatsoever, a personal teacher is out there to help you with any problem. Isn't that awesome? I'll tell you what, you have any problems at a school, you can contact the mentor teacher. If you have any problems in our classes, you can contact the mentor teacher. In case you're about to miss the class, the mentor teacher will call you. In case you haven't done the next few things, the homeworks, the teacher will let you know. In case you haven't attempted the test, the teacher will provide you the test link. All in all, if you come over here, we are making sure that every base is covered and you get the best of learning experience. Now, all depends on you. All depends on you in a way whether you are willing to come into this course or not. And I would like to tell there's more to bridge course, which I will be telling at the end of this session. But let me tell you that if you are looking out to learn, if you have exhausted and went to a lot of places that you said, you know, I went to this place, not good, this place, not good. Try this out. This will be one place where you will stick. This will be one place where you'll say that, you know what, I got what I was looking for. So the link is here. It's, it's there in the description as well. Go scroll out, find it out in the description. Press on that link. Make sure you press on the enroll now button. And in just 49 rupees, you can avail all these services one week long. I'm going to tell you more about the bridge course. If you are already excited, you can go check out the link or maybe at the end of this session, once you see a lot of things, once you know how the learning is here, maybe you can enroll then. But all of you are thinking that who's this guy who's blabbering a lot, telling you a lot of things. Let me tell you, my name is Udit Gupta. I've done my engineering from NIT Allahabad and I've been teaching physics for such a long time that not only do I love it, but I don't even remember when I started teaching and I don't know how many students I've taught, but you could be next one of them. And you can make sure that the opportunity you're getting in right now gets explained to the best. Now, the first law of motion is what we wanted to do. What exactly are we doing in this first law of motion? Oh, wow. This is a big thing that comes. What happens? This is a comic strip if you'll see. This guy, I don't know why he's angry. He's driving this motorcycle and he's about to witness the Newton's first law of motion. Now, what does what happens to him? He sees, oh my God, there is a wall in front of me. He is speeding up. He is at, he's in quite some speed. And now his facial expression tells you that he says, whoa, up to me gaya, right? And exactly that happens. As soon as he collides, the bike stops. But you remember, we have learned about inertia that anything that is moving keeps on moving. And that is why he flies. Pasina to aega na, girne wale, chot lagne wale, right? So this is, this is something related to first law of motion. Now, this guy is experiencing or understanding first law of motion, the difficult way by getting hurt, by getting into an accident. But I'll tell you what, 
if you go ahead with the statement you can understand it to a much deeper level without actually getting hurt now what does the statement say the statement simply says that anything that is at rest it will try to be at rest anything that is in motion it will try to stay in motion and this is what inertia is this is what inertia is so where does the first law come the first law comes with the fact that if there is an external force applied this inertia will break that is anything that wanted to stay at rest it was at rest it wanted to stay at rest if you apply an external force this becomes motion if anything was in motion it wanted to stay in motion you applied an external force it can come at rest so the thing is that if you want to break that inertia if you want to change that inertia of rest or motion what comes into play an external force comes into play let me read out the statement for you and i hope that then it would make a little more sense an object at rest will continue to be at rest and an object in uniform motion will continue to be in uniform motion this is what is your inertia and now this part which part the part that comes over here unless and until is it is acted by an external force as soon as the external force comes into play you get rest motion you get motion to rest so that is how it goes as far as the first law of motion is concerned remember that this law is also called law of inertia why is it called the law of inertia because it is so closely related to inertia all the thing from here till here this is nothing but inertia itself right so i hope you have understood the definition we are obviously going to take a look into a lot more practical examples like you have it over here right now this again a comic strip that i have got it says keep on trucking and what is happening here this guy this guy who is like seems like a guy from the paleolithic age right so this guy over here is trying to understand the newton's first law of motion again not with that easier way so what does he say a body in motion tends to obviously the truck is moving you can see these lines this means that it is moving and it will take the man with him self right though so it takes the man with with itself so a body in motion tends to stay in motion right even though he is trying to apply a force although that force is so little he won't be able to stop it obviously you need something like a rock or something like a big wall a thick wall then maybe it could be stopped and then you can understand newton's first law of motion by the external force also being applied all right i hope that you like this small little cartoon thing is uh, let me show you an example now right this will again help you in understanding how inertia and first law of motion are related how both the things are actually same it says that if a tree is shaken sharply aise tree ko pakad ke jhak jor do kaise lega right so what happens is fruits can, will start falling if there are any loose leaves they will also start to fall and this is like one of the easiest way to get fruits if you are in a fruit orchard or if you are near a fruit tree you don't believe me you can see it over here right so what is happening over here there is a machine which helps shake this tree and it has all these apples right how many of you like apples tell me in the comment box guys all right there is a lot of you who do love it ha huh? okay so apple also i like you know in fact my favorite apple dish is apple pie so you can see let's talk about what we have to learn that you can see once this tree is shaken what happens that there is inertia of rest the fruit was just hanging it was at rest it wanted to remain at rest but as soon as you apply external force it goes and it goes down right so what happens an external force gets that fruit at rest into fruit in motion so this is how we talk or study about the newton's first law now here comes a question it's a tricky question by the way let me tell you let's read it and let's try to understand what is the trick involved over here and how can we go ahead and you know go above this trick it says that there is a 2 kg object that is moving horizontally with some speed of 4 meter per second so let us take let us say that let us say this was that horizontal surface let us say that we have this 2 kg object 
and this is moving with some speed 4 meter per second now you are asked how much net force is required kitni net force chahiye to make sure the object moves at the same speed and in this direction that is the same direction so bhai ye object ja raha tha is side it was going towards right with some speed it will keep on going with this speed because that is exactly what inertia told us that if something is in motion if something is in motion in some direction it will keep on continuing going with the same speed in the same direction until and unless an external force acts to bhai yahan to hame koi force lag hi nahi rahi to hame yahan pe khud bhi koi force nahi lagani hogi matlab hamara answer hona chahiye b part that you don't need any force a lot of students what they do is wo keh rahe are ye 2 hai ye 4 hai ek kaam karte hain let's multiply 2 into 4 equal to 8 this is incorrect this 8 over here is what we say as momentum ye hamare paas momentum hai this is linear momentum this is not force right which we'll learn about later this is something that is related to second law of motion which we'll try to understand later obviously but for now you'll say that 8 is not the correct answer a lot of you will be answering 8 are absolutely wrong let me tell you so what is the correct answer we're going towards b and let us see Tan -tan -tan b is the correct option right let's go towards the next quiz and this one is an easier one this is again coming in from what you learned in the previous session you talked about inertia if you haven't checked out that session then go ahead check that playlist you're gonna find that session on inertia and you can watch that and then maybe answer this quiz which type of inertia helps dusting of carpet now what happens in dusting of carpet all those small little dust particles are embedded in the carpet right if you strike it so those dust particles come out why because they were having the inertia of rest wo rest pe the aapne mara carpet pe carpet to chali gayi dust particle yahi chhod diya wo niche gir gaya and that is how you dust the carpet i hope that you understood the first law of motion i hope you have learned something today but this learning need not stop this learning only needs to continue if you see yourself becoming better you can join the ODA class app that provides you with better teacher and gives you a better future. Guess what? The best thing that ODA class is going to be, that's going to be the bridge course. You can join in our bridge course by seeing all these things and checking out that link in the description. It's there, right there. All you need to do is scroll a little, press on that link and get yourself enrolled into this course, which has a lot of things. Weekly course you have the classes you have the mentor teacher you have the parent teacher meetings the homeworks the tests everything in one place right and like i said this is the link you can find it in the description go ahead press on that link get yourself enrolled in this discounted price of rupees 49 one more thing that i would like to tell you is that not only are you giving away those 49 rupees you are actually getting it back in the form of oda coins which you can redeem later to get your hands on all these goodies. Isn't that the best? You're learning, you're earning. I hope to see you, a lot of you in the bridge course. This was all that we had in this session. I hope you truly loved it. Do not forget to share it with your friends and family. Please share it with, it with them. Please like the video if you really learned something new. And press on the subscribe button or press on the bell icon to make sure you don't miss anything else. That's it from me today. We'll meet back again, learn more things. Until then, it's bye-bye and thank you.